Hello everyone, so today I wanted to talk about Chris Boozy and whether or not he's going to be banned on from Twitter and when, if he is, when, what's going on in that respect. So, uh, first thing I wanted to say, so Chris Boozy, I saw a little Twitter post going on, he says if he doesn't get the midterm elections right and the Democrats win, because he wants the Democrats to win the, was it the, the Senate or was it the lower house, whatever it was. If he, if he doesn't get that, then he'll delete his Twitter. So I don't know, he, he says he got this from having Twitter's API, he has so much inside information, it's not funny. I believe he does, I know he's got the API. I know he's got this information that he really shouldn't be having, but nonetheless he has it, he's abusing it, he's using it to predict election results, amongst other things. It's not the only thing he's using to predict. And apparently he's getting this one wrong. So he says he's going to delete his Twitter account. Now I find that suspicious. Why would he care so much about this election? This is not the election for the president. Even then, why would you delete your Twitter over it? So, you know, maybe he knows something that other people don't know. Perhaps he does. I mean, he's got all this information in the API. You know, I don't know how many millions of people are using Twitter, but I'm sure it's a pretty large number. And I, I have no doubt that he would have the information to be able to get accurate predictions. In fact, if there's any betting going on about that sort of thing or anything that he's putting a prediction in, I'd say that, that they shouldn't be allowed to do it. Because he's either going to put in accurate information or else deliberately false accusation. And you won't necessarily know the difference, but he'll be able to cash in. So uh, it's yet another thing that he's doing that's dodgy. He shouldn't be doing that sort of thing. You know, if, if he's using Twitter APIs to predict an election result, I mean, it's pretty un unethical, particularly if he's saying that in advance. If he's doing that accurately, he's, he's essentially, and then he's broadcasting it on Twitter. So. He, he, I don't know if it's illegal, but it's certainly unethical to do this. That could sway and influence the result of the election. Um, shouldn't be doing it. It's, it's kind of like insider trading, but over elections. If you had inside information like that, you can go to jail um, if it was inside trading. I don't know if this is necessarily explicitly illegal for elections, but it's certainly unethical. This is election interference, this is election manipulation. Now, hopefully not too many people have seen his tweets, but if they are accurate like he says they are, then they would be looking at them more, and that compounds the problem. And again, this is why, well, not the only reason why, but this is one reason why you shouldn't be letting third parties have access to an API. You just shouldn't. It's not a good idea. And Elon Musk, I'm sure, is smart enough not to do it. If, if he, he approached Elon Musk and said, hey, Elon Musk, I'm a third party, I want to have access to your API. I'm not a paid employee. Elon Musk is either going to say, sure, I'll do, let you help me do something dodgy, or he's going to say, get stuffed. I am not falling for that. It's extremely risky for Twitter to have someone, a third party, who is not an employee, there's no evidence whatsoever, no suggestion that he's paid by Twitter, certainly not directly. Um, to have access to the API. There's, there's no value to it. There's no merit to it. If they want to have him contributing to bands, then they should hire him directly and have a purpose and have a structure of what he is and isn't allowed to do. The only value for this is if Twitter is trying to do, use him to do things that are dodgy. Otherwise, Twitter are just not very smart with allowing this. So, you know, did it fall under the radar? There's nothing legitimate in this, and, and this election thing is just absurd. So, so, but why is he threatening to tw delete his Twitter over this if he's wrong? If the algorithm that he used is wrong, he should know that it's wrong. If he's deliberately spreading false information about this, then, you know, he's not deleting his Twitter for that reason, is he? And I, I do wonder if that's the case, that he's trying to delete his Twitter because he knows that Elon Musk is in charge and he's in a lot of trouble. So what would Elon Musk do? If you would just imagine you're Elon Musk and you're looking at this bot sentinel, the first thing that you'd probably do is you'd say, you'd rip that API access off him. You'd just say, no. And now I know I said that 
the Twitter employees that are currently there probably all hate Elon Musk. They know that he's going to fire them, or most of them. But they also know that he has no legitimate reason to have the API. So there's going to be no arguments about him removing the API. But this is the question. If he, so he could remove the API today, but could he ban him today? He could. But again, you've got that whole thing, you want to get the moderation team in place. You don't want to just be banning people yourself. And the other thing is, you have to imagine that Chris Boozy has some blackmail material against Twitter, which now is against Elon Musk. Now, Elon Musk needs to separate himself from the previous people that were running Twitter in order to avoid that. So, and I mean, potentially with all this access to API, he could have blackmail material specifically against Elon Musk. Uh, separate from Twitter. Could be to do with Amber Heard. He might know, for example, that Elon Musk is um, Amber Heard's baby daddy of Una Page Heard. That he's a dad. So that could be something that through access in the API that Chris Boozy has that as proof and he could know all the dirty dealings. He could know that Elon Musk um, was with Amber Heard when she was married to Johnny Depp. And there could be a lot of other things. I mean, these are just simple things that are fairly much public knowledge, but there could be a lot of really nasty stuff that he knows. So he could be saying, oh, don't ban me or I'll expose this. That kind of thing. So that, that could be holding him back. And it could be that Elon Musk would keep letting him have this API access until he can ban him completely. Because if, if Elon Musk removes the API access, Chris Boozy's going to say, oh, I'm going to be banned soon. And then he'd be, even if he didn't get a threat, he would just start exposing stuff, start going to the media and start revealing all this stuff. So, so Musk would know he has to do it all in one go. He has to remove the API access at the same time as banning him. He has to do the whole thing at one go, and he has to do it at, when he's at a stage where he's protected. So when he's saying to himself, all right, I know that you can't do anything. I have covered all my bases. I've separated myself from Twitter. I have put in a, an action to deal with all the blackmail that you have against me. And I've no doubt that Chris Boozy has stuff against him. And then he just do it. But the thing is, I, I don't think, I, I think Musk could sort of work out and go, well, you've got a little bit of blackmail against me, but it's not going to kill me. It's not going to be that much. And he'd probably argue, well, I mean, let's say that it's, he's the dad of Amber Heard's uh, daughter. He could say, yeah, I'm, I'm the dad. It's a public record if you actually bothered to check. I'm assuming that there is some hospital that has recorded that. They'll just reveal that and say, yeah, that's public knowledge, no worries. And he cheated on, well, he, he was with Amber Heard when she was still married to Johnny Depp. He would say, well, she was the one cheating. He didn't know that she was still with him. That's a fair enough argument. I mean, the person in the relationship is the one that's cheating, not the person that's not in the relationship. He wasn't cheating on anybody. And, you know, and even if he did knew, well, she's the one to blame, not him. So that's out of the way. Is there anything else maybe that he could deal with that sort of stuff? And he could say, all right, well, I might take a bit of a hit but it's not worth it to keep you on board because you're going to keep blackmailing me, keep blackmailing other people. And then other people might say, oh, well, he's got blackmail material against them as well. And they might not want him to reveal it. So, you know, having the, the API access, Chris Boozy could potentially have private access to all sorts of things. So what Elon Musk is probably going to have to do is to have some kind of legal injunction preventing Chris Boozy from revealing that information. And this could be some kind of suppression order and could say, you had uh, this access, it allowed you access to confidential materials. As the owner of Twitter, I forbid you from revealing this under penalty of whatever. And then he just couldn't reveal any of it. And as the owner of Twitter, he has every right to do that. There is a legal process to do that, but he could put that in place, put it in place, remove the API access, deal with his own blackmail issues and ban him all in one go. But will that happen today? Uh, I'm going to say no. Will it happen next year? Will it happen middle of next year when potentially Trump might be unbanned? I'm not, I don't think it'll take that long. 
I'm going to suggest this will happen before Christmas, by Christmas. Uh, now, is it guaranteed it's definitely going to happen? There is a possibility that it doesn't happen. I think he should ban him, let's make no mistake. But there's a possibility it doesn't happen. And that would probably be if, let's say, Musk thinks, oh, look, it's not worth it because he's going to get too much damage by being blackmailed and all that. So, and maybe other people getting blackmailed. So there, there is a chance that he won't. I think it would be unethical for Musk not to ban him. I certainly don't, don't think Musk is silly enough just to remove the API access and leave it at that. I think he would do, do everything all at once. I'd, I'd put the chance of him banning Boozy at about 95%. And the other thing is, when, Boozy, when Musk bans Boozy, he'll be number one dealing with the bots and all that sort of thing. And number two, dealing with any people that think that he's on Amber Heard's side. Of course, I don't think anyone wants to be publicly identified with Amber Heard. And we know that Chris Boozy is on Amber Heard's side. So Musk will suddenly appeal to the 95% of people who supported Johnny Depp. And that'll put, put him in a good place. This is not just Republicans versus Democrats. 95% of people in the world support Johnny Depp against Amber Heard. So if Elon Musk puts himself in that 95%, he'll get a lot of praise, a lot of publicity, a lot of positive support in relation to that. So I think that's probably what's going to happen. And will Boozy delete his account? He'll say, oh, I've deleted my account. I wasn't banned. I deleted my account. But it wasn't because of this. It was because of the Senate. Because of the... He got his politics wrong. I don't think so. I think Chris Boozy put up fake stats and fake prediction because he should be able to accurately predict it. I, put, I think he put in fake stats, said that it was because of the API, even though it wasn't. Deletes his account. And there you go. And he just hides. Maybe even hides from those lawsuits that are going around against him as well. Yeah, I don't know that it'll work, but I think that might be what happen is happening. I think this is a bit of a smokescreen from Mr. Boozy. Anyway, that's it from me. We'll see what happens. See you then. Bye-bye.